Trey going? Oh, it's good. Yo, man, this is boring. What we doing? I said, yo, I got the Uzi and truly do we, we damn hot. Uh -huh. So you better zoom like boozy when I blam shot. Okay. Word to my daughter, young blaze about big bread. Call me a quarter where I flip birds and get head. You already know. Look, I'm on my Coast Sinatra shit. Connect from Columbia, so coke. Get a lot of it. I'm fucking yo bitch. Dumping that four fifth. It's watch time, so nickel and dime a whole brick. And when it come to coke, niggas know I be whipping. They call me Chef Boy, your blaze up in the kitchen. So active, send me to squeeze. Move a Beretta's at ease I'm ill with the flow And sicker than any disease I spit sniffs, sir huh? Move with them big guns JK Gonna wanna sign me After this one I'm running with the goons Prick Move in the ooze spit Do we where I'm from And Coast Sinatra My movement yeah. uh, This for that youngin' On the corner Who don't know his father His mother strung out On a needle We can't even call her Ain't had no goddess Younger wild And he just had a daughter Now his baby mother Struggling and he can't support her Picked up a strap And started robbing Make up for them losses Got sick of that Picked up a pack He working for them bosses they told them Tough times don't last Tough people do I know they doubting you Trying to belittle you When you stuck in the trenches That's just the obstacles You wrote your plan down now It's time to follow through Tough times don't last Tough people do When you down and out They try to shit on you When you rise above It's unbelievable Look, growth and development is a chief Yo, it's your boy Golden the Slogan And this is Duck No Wreck World Media well, this media don't duck no wreck at all. Nah, I'm joking. Today's video is how Viciani, aka Young Blaze, aka Young Bandana Santana, took the crown in the era from C Gutter with one diss track. Listen, C Gutter, you soft and sweet, brother. High ride down Chala and now C Gutter. Yeah. <laughs> That, that diss track, you heard? You gotta be stupid if you think I ain't gonna talk about that. This is like, I was in the streets at this time when this, when this song came out, but this is when the streets wasn't a scam. Like, this is when everything was authentic. The rap scene was impeccable. See, Gutter had the town at the time, I, I would say, sort of. Like, he had like 85% of the town. Like, his hood was behind him. He had a production behind him. He was on Channel 15. He did music videos. He outside. Everybody vouching for him. He looking uh, certified. I don't know if he was really from Chala to this day. I think his brother or something like that, THF, because THF, that, that shit disappeared. It was, it, it, it went right back to Smurfville. I remember that. This is going to probably be like a two-part video because story time. Got to get the story time in. All right, so look, I'm going to talk about C. Gutter first, how I met C. Gutter. Then we're going to talk about Viciani, a.k.a. Young Blaze, a.k.a. Young Santana Bandana. All right, listen, so... See, Gutter, like I said, he had the town and all that, like 80% of the town on the rap scene. To me, on a lyrical and talent base, he wasn't, I don't know, he was he was regular. Very mediocre to me. I know it seemed like I'm hating and all that, but I'm not. It's the reason why I got a nasty taste in my mouth for son, because he was very arrogant, very egotistic. Um, instead of teaching me the ropes and all this shit, like how you're supposed to be if you're a living legend in your town, you try to scrutinize me. So look, check this out. But you did it in the passive aggressive way. I don't really like that. But look, my people's, my people's J Money. Everybody know Money. Money, one of the fleetest niggas in the town. Fast whips, bad chicks, designer kicks. Been doing that since he was like nine. But hear me out though. He put me on the JK Productions. JK Productions was on Chalai at the time. And if you know somebody or somebody that rap or anybody, you was at JK Productions, especially if you from the West Side. I'm from the East though, keep that in mind. But JK Production was a home studio for me for like five years, it's facts. Boom, my first time going there, I met C Gutter. It's crazy how my life pan out, right? He in there, he in there with his manager. His manager is um, Brandon or Brian, whatever. I went to uh, Monroe with him and East High School with him. I went for sixth grade at Monroe, then seventh grade at East. Introduce each other and shit. They was feeling money because money is extremely talented. He can rap, shoot videos, make beats. He can be an engineer. Like money's like ahead of his time. Money's a pioneer when it comes to all this shit that niggas be trying to do right now. You are. I ain't gonna hold you. So they jacking him. Like, oh yeah, bro, I need you to do this. I need you to. He like he do cover art. Like he do a cover for your mixtape. So they all on. Yeah, bro, I need you to do my mixtape. Yeah, 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 bro, I heard you shit PLF right? Yeah, all dick riding him, but don't really like him. You are. 
trying to use him for his resources and shit. You ain't slick. We seen that miles away. Niggas is dumb. Fuck y'all niggas thought y'all was. So boom, I get in the booth. You gotta understand. Before I got, come to JK, I've been to the studio. I went to uh, That That Fire Productions at Shoddy Shit, Shoddy and Hot Rod on North Street. They from my hood, 700. Shout out to 700. Historical block. But back to the story. I freestyled in there. I, I be writing. I never write, but money told me to write. Anytime you do something for the first time, it's gonna be your worst time. You know? always remember that. Check this out though. So I go in there, I rap, I'm trying to tell a story. That shit is not making sense to these niggas. They don't know nothing about metaphorically being subliminal at the time. This is like very mediocre rapping at the time. So these niggas is making fun of me. I hear these niggas. They think, man, I don't hear them. That's the shit that really pissed me off. Like, bro, you was a recording artist. How you don't think I hear you talking about me? Y'all niggas laughing, kicking jokes and shit. So yeah, man, you man ass, bro. Like, you thought I ain't hear you, nigga? Goofball, RuPaul ass, nigga. But check this out. He was in there trying to respond to the listen, see gutter, you soft and sweet, brother. How I ride down Chala, and you now see gutter. He's trying to respond to that, which he failed drastically. I don't even know the name of that fucking song that he was recording, which that shit almost cost him his life. Let's keep talking about it, though. So look, son makes a song. He talks about somebody, somebody I know that I go to school with that don't play no games, major pain. I don't know what the fuck possessed this dumb dildo ass nigga to be talking about a real one of them ones in the streets. You are. I ain't gonna hold you. So come down like long story short on C Gutter, he ended up getting shot downtown and end up telling on a nigga that shot his ass. I go home, chilling at my mom's house, turn the news. I see this nigga getting put on a stretcher in an ambulance crying and shit. Ain't that funny how life works? Ain't it funny how life pan out for niggas? <laughs> <laughs> How you brag about killing a man, but you went to jail and got your face shot in the can. Damn. Damn.